He is the Maud with more Olympic medals than any other athlete still on his bike. And today came another. Sir Bradley Wiggins for services to cycling. As he was knighted sporting his usual sideburns, Her Majesty did the honours. The man who in the past has modelled himself on being anti-establishment found himself making small talk with the Queen. Afterwards he told me being in Buckingham Palace was nerve-wracking. Yeah, I was, uh, it was more nervous than being in the Olympics, if I'm honest. It's, uh, it, it's not a very comfortable setting for me, that, so I was just concentrating on doing all the things you have to do, kneeling down on the box and moving on, so I was pleased to, to get out there and it was a huge relief. So. And such a young sir as well, that must be great. I know, 23, you never think it oh, would you. Never. <laughs> and it doesn't matter how old you are, Sir Bradley says he always listens to his grandma. And apparently your nan is critical to this situation. Did she encourage you to collect it? Yeah, very much so. My grandfather passed away three years ago and he would have... Uh, he would never have had me turn it down. You know, they still up the road here in Kilburn, just two miles away. So uh, I think they're outside the gates now. I mean, now and that. So uh, it's uh, it's more for your family members to be able to have my wife and children here today. It's, it's a great day. And it was for his achievements in 2012 that he's been knighted after he became the first Brit in history to win the Tour de France. Before Sir Bradley got the gold medal at the London Games and rounded it all off nicely by winning the Sports Personality of the Year. So 12 months on, who is he tipping to win that same award this weekend? I think what Andy Murray did this year, winning Wimbledon, was uh, obviously that, that, that'll go down in the history books, really. I think we've been waiting so long for, for somebody to win it. As for the future, after missing the Tour de France this year because of injury, Sir Bradley is now back on his bike, training for the competition next year, and has his sights set on Rio 2016. But this is a title which he won't have to fight for. Wigo will always be Sir Bradley to me and you. Minnie Stevenson, 5 News.